name is Lawrence Allen and today I'm going to present my Finance 381 project. For this project we have to analyse three companies and decide who we give a short term loan to of $1 million, a five year loan of $1 million and which company we would, we would invest half of, to buy half of. These are the three companies I've chosen. I've chosen TaylorMade Golf which is it's owned by Adidas but it's a golf equipment company. I chose Ryanair, which is an airline company. It's basically the UK's version of Southwest. And I've chose Hornbeck as well. This is a supplier for offshore transport services. So to answer the first question, who I would give a one million dollar six month loan to, I've looked at current ratio, quick the current quick and cash ratios. The current ratio tells us how liquid the company is as it is assets over liabilities and in this case we want the current ratio to be as high as possible. So as you can see Hornbeck, although they're not very stable, they're very liquid and Ryanair and TaylorMade are very stable but run about a current ratio of two which is good but not quite as good as Hornbeck. The quick ratio is very similar to the current ratio but this takes out inventory, so it's a better indication of how liquid the company is. And the quick ratios here tell us a very similar story. Tailor-made ratio is slightly down. This makes sense as we are an equipment company. We have a lot of assets tied up in, tied up in equipment and stores, etc. The last ratio that tells us about liquidity is the cash ratio. This is the most liquid ratio as it is just cash over liabilities. Again, you can see Hornbeck is the most liquid. So overall, I would, I would own $1 million to Hornbeck for six months as we are very liquid and could easily pay me back. The second question is who would I give a $1 million five year loan to? And to analyze companies, I, look, I ask myself two questions. The first question I asked is how much debt each company has, and the second question I asked is if these companies can afford to pay off their debt. And to do this, the ratios I looked at, I looked at the equity multiplier, which tells us how much money each company gets from creditors. I looked at the debt to equity ratio, which tells us for all of the company's assets how much of it they get from equity. So basically the same as the equity multiplier. And finally, I looked at the times interest earned ratio, which tells us if these companies can afford to pay off their debt. Equity multiplier, so how much debt each company has. As you can see, Ryanair has the most debt here, and TaylorMade and Hornbeck are pretty similar in terms of debt. Quite a high debt ratio, but nothing out of the ordinary. Next, I looked at the debt to equity ratio. This again tells us how much debt each company has. As you can see here, TaylorMade has the lowest debt at roughly 30% and Hornbeck and Ryanair have a lot of debt, which from my point of view isn't very good because if I'm lending them money, that's just going to add to their debt, which isn't good from my point of view. Next, I looked at the times interest earned ratio, which tells us although the companies have a lot of debt, if they're able to pay off their debt or not. As you can see here, Hornbeck, although they have a lot of debt, don't have a very good times interest earned ratio, so they may be struggling to pay back the debt. Ryanair and TaylorMade have very good times interest earned ratios, which tell me, although they have debt, they're able to pay it off, and I wouldn't be worried about this. So, so overall, I would buy, I would lend one million dollars for a five-year loan to TaylorMade because they have the most amount of equity and they have the highest times interest earned ratio which means they'll be able to pay off their debt. The last question was if I had unlimited resources which company I would buy half of and to do this I looked at return on assets, return on equity and the PE which is the future outlook of growth. Return on assets and return on equity just tells us from percent of assets a company has, how profitable they are with those assets. First of all, I looked at the ROA, which is return on assets. You want this ratio to be as high as possible, which means each company is making most 
I of every double pass he has had. So Ryan Hill and Taylor made a very good ROEs, Hornbeck not so much. For return on equity, I looked at profit margin, asset turnover and equity multiplier. The profit margin off the top tells us how profitable each company is with their assets. We want this ratio to be as high as possible. As you can see, Hornbeck at one point is very high, but it's very inconsistent, so this is not a good this is not a good trait. Ryanair has a consistently good ratio. Taylor May's ratio is not as high but it's consistently good. Next we look at asset turnover. This is how many times each company turns over its assets, so how well it manages its assets. Taylor May has a very good ratio, which is very encouraging. Ryanair has a good ratio but not as high and Hornbeck isn't so good. The last ratio is the equity multiplier which we've already looked at. This tells us how much debt each company has, how much risk they're taking to make their money. Ryanair is taking quite a lot of risk and not really turning over their assets that great. So for that reason I would pull them out. Hornbeck is a very inconsistent profit margin and they have quite a lot of debt as well so I wouldn't I wouldn't invest in them. Um, I would definitely invest in TaylorMade because although our profit margin isn't as good as the other two, they have a very high asset turnover and they're not taking as much risk. Uh, but taking the same amount of risk as Hornbeck but their asset turnover is higher. So for that reason I would invest in half of TaylorMade. And finally, this confirms my theory. The profit margin of the price earnings ratio tells us the future outlook for growth within the company. Hornbeck has again a very unstable ratio. TaylorMade and Ryanair are, are very stable and have good ratios, but TaylorMade is slightly higher, which tells me the future for TaylorMade is, is very promising. So in conclusion, I would buy half of TaylorMade because they have a good profitability with their assets, with high asset turnover, lower debt than the other two companies, and their future outlook is very promising. Thank you for listening.